from a device created specifically to tear a woman's breast off to a torture device so brutal that you would most likely rather die. We take a look at 10 of the most gruesome torture devices ever created. Number 10. Thumb Screws This little nugget of joy was first used in medieval Europe. It's a simple design really, being little more than a portable vice. Though, with this little contraption, a torturer would insert one's thumbs, fingers, or even toes into it before cranking down on the screws. As the screws were turned, the victim's digits would be crushed and pulverized, resulting in what could only be described as excruciating pain. Sometimes, if the victim's screaming wasn't loud enough to please the torturer, sharp metal spikes were added to the crushing bars, which would take the pain to a whole new level. Number 9. Brazen Bull Designed in ancient Greece, the brazen bull, otherwise known as the Sicilian bull, took outdoor barbecuing to a whole new level. Not content with merely decapitating or running a criminal through with a sword, the Greeks created a hollow piece of bronze in the shape of a bull. Condemned criminals were loaded into the bull through a door and locked inside. A great big fire was then set below the belly of the bull and the victim was then roasted alive. Number 8. Knee Splitter the knee splitter consisted of two spiked wooden blocks. The number of spikes embedded in the blocks ranged from between 3 to 20, depending on how naughty one was, apparently. One of the blocks was placed in front of the knee and the other behind the knee, and the spikes were driven into the flesh. The blocks, whose spikes were securely embedded into the victim, were then connected by two large screws, which when turned would draw the blocks toward each other, the spikes biting into the person's flesh and pulverizing the caught between the blocks. Number 7. Scold's Bridle Though the Scold's Bridle didn't often inflict death upon its victims, it couldn't have been anywhere near pleasant for the victim. It was primarily used upon women who were labeled witches, shrews, or scolds. As a form of public humiliation, an iron mask was attached to an iron helmet and was locked onto the woman's head. A bridle bit that measured about 2 inches long and 1 inch wide and was studded with sharp spikes was inserted into her mouth. If the offender moved her tongue or tried to speak, she was subject to some intense pain. Number 6. Breast Ripper First popularly used in 16th century Bavaria, the breast ripper was typically applied to women who were accused of adultery, self-abortion, heresy, blasphemy, or apparently just because somebody didn't like women very much. The claws of the device, made of iron and usually heated, were clamped around a woman's breast the spikes of the claw digging into her flesh. The breast was then quite literally ripped off of her body. If she didn't die of blood loss and or infection, the woman would be permanently disfigured. Number 5. Breaking Wheel Criminals were attached to the wheel spread eagle style, with all of their limbs strapped down tightly. To possibly give it a game show feel, the wheel was then spun and as it rotated, the master of ceremonies, otherwise known as the torturer, used a club or some other blunt object to bludgeon the victim. The game was over when all of the victim's bones had been broken, and he was then left attached to the wheel to die. Number 4. Crocodile Shears Though the historical record is spotty, it is believed that the crocodile shears were usually only brought out for very special occasions to punish those bold enough to attempt to assassinate the king in the most horrific way possible. The inside of this device was a metal tube lined with spikes. Though it was sometimes used on a victim's fingers, it is believed that more often than not, it was the victim's penis that was inserted into the mouth of the crocodile. Thus, when the jaws of the croc were clamped down, it was punctured and likely severed. Often, the arterial damage and blood loss of having one's junk torn off was enough to kill a victim. Number 3. Head Crusher The Head Crusher wins the award for the least inventive and creative name for a torture device. The Head Crusher is exactly what it sounds like, something that crushes your head. When this lovely little piece was put into action, a metal plate was placed below a victim's jaw. The plate was connected by a frame to a metal head cap. As the torturer turned down the screws, the metal cap descended until it slid over the victim's head. As pressure was increased and the metal cap continued to cinch downward, it crushed the skull, facial bones, jaw, and even the teeth of the victim. Number 2. The Judas Cradle A steel collar was attached to the waist of the victim, and the sharp pointy end of the Judas Cradle was inserted into their anus. 
the intense pressure and stretching of the orifice was reportedly excruciating. Some accounts depict torturers having the ability to lift a victim with a rope and pulley system, thus easing their pain or lowering them and driving the point of the cradle deeper into the victim's orifice, obviously increasing their pain. This form of torture could last for hours or even days, depending upon the crime and mood of the torturer. Number 1. Pair of Anguish The device was metal, shaped like a pear, and had four leaves that could be spread apart or opened by the turning of a screw. Primarily used on women who'd had a miscarriage, abortion, or an affair, and men who were homosexuals or having an affair, the pair of anguish would be inserted into a woman's vagina or man's anus and then opened by the torturer. The spreading of the leaves stretching and even tearing muscles and causing intense pain. Check out our other videos and remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every week.